Hey, welcome to another day in Minecraft. I am here with Race Works in Hello. the Protex server. So, what are we gonna do today, Ray? Can you tell us? Today we are out at one of the exit gateway portals, which we generate here in the void between the outer end islands and the main end island, which is off behind us, but we can't see it. And we're gonna yeah. build up a whole bunch of AFK fish farms, and we're gonna build up a um, system to collect all the loot, sort it out, and then we'll send all that loot directly to our spawn so it can be organized and packaged away for future projects. Now that's interesting. I never done that before, so I assume we're gonna get something shipped in carts through the portal. Is that the idea? Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll definitely uh, cross that road when we get there. Uh, the first thing yeah. we have to pay attention to is that we're working with a gateway portal and yes. dragons can go through them. If you've seen my dragon XP farm, we actually send dragons through these portals. So um, oh, yeah. if you do use these portals to make a farm, you should always put them on the opposite side of the direction of zero zero. So zero zero is this way. That's positive, positive. So that's going to get us closer to zero zero since we're in the two negatives. Oh, so I that's see. so if the dragon comes through this portal, it's going to automatically fly towards zero zero. And if there's anything in the way that's something that can break, it'll destroy those blocks. So hmm. we want to put the farm on this side of it. And um, since we can send all the items through the gateway portal, we want to put it quite high so we can use gravity to funnel right, the absolutely. items in. So it's always good to start up high so items can at least go down. It's always harder to put items upwards. Yeah. So let's work on that. We'll work on the on the mechanism right now since, since this is like a technical video that we're gonna work on. And then I, I'll come back some other day. I'll do all of the aesthetics, like the build around and stuff like that. Oh I, yeah, I'd yeah, like to most definitely. Work. That sounds good. Yeah, this is the Enderman on and off switch. So, yeah. Um, pretty much this green means to turn on and red is to turn off. There's not like a lantern oh, to show you. And then yeah. if it's working, then it will spit out the appropriate item. So turn on, oh, yeah, I just, just hit this button there to turn on. This one? Yep. Okay, and then go. we should see a slime. Uh, item pop out of here, meaning that it's turned on. Man, that's magic. <laughs> How does that happen? What do you say? Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So that yeah, worked. So now it's on. Oh, okay. And okay. now we shouldn't get any more endermen. Yay. But yeah, pretty much if people AFK fish here, then they're not affecting our overworld farms. And that is a good thing. So we don't have to worry about them holding up mob caps or anything like that or causing any problems with like RNG farms. Okay, so the doors will go right here. <laughs> we enter here and yes. the farm? Yep, so we open okay. open door, you go inside, you close the door, and then you AFK right. fish this direction. Right. So next thing we need to do is get in some snow layers right here. So let's go to the snow farm and grab those. Oh, Over here nice. is a snow farm, and this was, um, the sex was done by John, and the farm was done by KK, two of the members, and we got tons of snow here. Let's grab, I can just grab some blocks from inside of here. Probably enough. This looks really yeah. nice. Snowballs in there. Craft them up into blocks, and they automatically get sent. So that's pretty much all there is, all that we need from here. Let's go back. Okay, so I put the trapdoors here. I was making, I was making fence gates. I wanna confess something <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah, so the trapdoors are gonna separate the players so that they're not pushing each other and also align them too. So you have to kind of crouch to get in here, but Excellent. it um, yes. all works out in the end. And then we have some levers on top, which will just keep the trapdoors in their position. So next up, we got to put in uh, the water over here. So yeah, so behind the trap doors, we're going to put in some note blocks. That's what the player is going to click on. And then in front of these, we're going to put in the tripwire hook across. And that's what makes it one wide, because the tripwire hook's this direction instead of this direction. Okay, so now we put the ice in. Shadow, you want to put the ice in? And um, go ahead and break it so it turns into water. To do that, we need to break the strings, I, I think. Maybe come in here. You might be able to do it from here. 
Yeah, so what we need is we need to put water underneath these gates and wash everything that direction. And after it's down, we want to wash it back this direction after it's being aligned and over top of some hoppers. So let's go down underneath and okay. uh, put up a platform. So now we need to put in all the filters. So the last one here will collect everything. And everything before it will collect uh, stackables. So let me go ahead and put in those slots and then the other one will be for the item that we put in. Okay, so all the item filters in. This one here will pick up whatever doesn't get picked up by the rest of them. So we got all the shulkers in there. It's picking them all up, filling in these slots all up. Uh, Shadow's putting in the rest of the shulkers inside of there. We got all the redstone around here. We got all the filters in place. Now we just need to get the individual items into the filters and then it'd be ready. He hooked up the water stream. So it goes this way. All the items are dropped downwards. And then we can put in some water down here. And then this will push all items over here. And then we can extend the water. Let's get some trap doors or a slab. And then we'll put in some pack tanks right there and then we'll extend it and then we'll push them directly into the portal. If the item come into the portal too fast, it might end up kind of getting pushed when it comes out the other side. So we can put in some slime blocks to slow it down if we need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it so we're going to have a solid block right here, right by the portal. And that way when people come through, they will be placed here and then they can just walk a short distance uh, to get to AFK Fish Farm. And that way, if the dragon comes through, we don't have to worry about him being near the fish farm when he comes through. Because he'll end up here, and then he'll go towards 00, zero which is the center of the main island. So it's that direction. So we won't have him flying through and destroying any blocks. And I'll knock out the rest of these blocks too, so the game doesn't find it. Essentially, game is going to try to place a player in the highest block that is um, in the northwest direction. Like five blocks away from the XK portal. We'll remove everything in that area around here, and then everything should end up here. See. Okay, let's try the gateway yeah. portal. We got that block over there. Let's hop through it, and then we'll see if um, we'll see if we end up where we want to end up. Okay, so come back through here. Okay, we ended up on the slime block here. It seems like when we come through the portal, it doesn't like if the block is directly above it. So I move the block over by one. Now when we go through this portal, it should put us over into the other block. So let's go back through this portal. Just try to go into lighter mode. Awesome, so we're placed here. And that way the ender dragon comes out and dragon will fly that way. And it won't destroy our AFK fish farm over here. I think that's the majority of the farm done. Now let's go grab the fishing rods and then 
Um, we'll do a little bit of AFK fishing and we'll fill up these different slots. And then yeah. it's up to Shadow to make everything look nice and pretty. Okay, so we're here at the quad fish perimeter. We're going to grab some fishing rods. So um, the council already doing some AFK fishing here. And once we're done with the other farm, we'll be able to move him over. But yeah, these are all the loots that don't get sorted out. So we got a lot of fishing rods in here. So we'll grab a couple of these and put them together to make some uh, OP ones. I guess we could also... Oh, someone put a bunch in here too, but these aren't perfect ones. We'll grab some, we'll make some perfect ones, like this one. Luck of the C3, Lure 3, Unbreaking 3, as well as Mending. That's what we need. So let's make some fishing rods and yeah. then we'll take them to the fishing farm. So we went ahead and we filled up this whole chest full of chocolate boxes and then this went across and filled up all of the dispensers. So now it's stopped over here. Uh, we also enclosed yes. this area so that when it pops off blocks, these shulker boxes will fall down to the water and then get swept over here. Then they fall down here and they get swept yep. this way and they get swept into the portal. So what we have to do now is work on the other side of the portal. We need to hook up this water stream with the already uh, developed water streams that we have underneath of our main and island. That way it's all connected oh. and then we'll send it to our world spawn point. So let's hop over cool. to this side. And you can see where we ended up. Come on through. Yep. So right there is I, where items will, will drop right here. And then we could do kind of a similar thing oh, like we did okay. uh, with other farms. Here, let's go take a look at them. Yeah, so what we did is we tried to keep it somewhat um, Ender Dragon friendly. So we keep it kind of simple. But we got a water stream, which will pull anything off of this block down here and align it with oh, this I block. See. And then it will fall away down, all the way down to the very bottom of the world. We have some water streams, which will pick it up. That way, the energy dragon comes by. Um, it's just one water block that we have to replace. He won't destroy the iron bar. And cool. then all the kind of the sensitive stuff mm. is way down there. And the dragon shouldn't be able to break it. So let's try to do something similar over here. Right. Okay, so here's the opposite side of the gate portal. So this is the entrance gate portal. And all items were dropping right here. So what we did is we have a hole here where the water will want to flow into. We've got iron bar, and then we will drop all the items straight down there. I'll uh, put the water in here and break it, and it'll flow into there. And we should be able to remove these blocks since I already found a place to flow into. It won't try to yep. search for other areas around it. And that is good. We can actually remove this block uh, now that it's no longer searching. It should be fine. Now oh, whenever nice. someone comes through, it's going to kind of push them over, but you should be able to walk out. But the items will be able to be um, kind of filtered away from the players, and they will fall down there. So now what we have to do is hop down here and continue this hole yep. all the way down to uh, we hit uh, the void. So I'm just going to break two blocks. That way I don't fall into the void. And then we have to connect this up with our water system that we have down here. So we have like a kind of a crisscross of mm. waterways which goes around to each of the gateway portals and we'll pick up items and then kind of take them to a central location where we will put them through the exit gateway portal or the exit end portal and then that will take us to the world spawn point where we have our storage okay so here's the bottom right here yeah and don't jump down here but yeah that's where the items will fall down I'll go ahead and fill in this side. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have a hole, we, we can go underneath and um, see where we need to make the ice streams. Right. So items, we'll use this water stream right here. And we just need to extend it. You can see it kind of goes around here. It goes to each of these. All right. Oh, I see. So this is a massive item transportation system. I yeah. kind of made no sense of it like the first time I saw it. Because, you know, I didn't exactly know that you were doing this. So oh, the farthest the one we means. have so far is going over to this one here. But we need to go yeah. way over there somewhere. Hmm. So what we could do is we can... We could probably go over there and find that one then work backwards. Because I'm not sure how it's going to line up. So we went underneath of where the hole was. And then we put in an ice path. The ice path we're using uh, is packed ice on the bottom, so the items move very swiftly because we actually have to make sure we get the items uh, to their destination before the despawn, so that's kind of important. 
So speed is important, so that's why we're using ice here. And then we're using black glass because that's what's kind of being used around the area. Everything else is black glass. And it goes very nicely with the void. And then we're just putting in some trapdoors to hold back the different parts of water. And uh, shadows breaking the ice. And then we're going to continue this pattern all the way until we hook up with uh, one of the old lines. And then from there, it should be able to make the rest of its uh, journey to spawn, which we'll show you guys there. So this new path we just made will hook up to our old one. I think this one goes to like the rabbit farm, cactus farm, a coarse fruit farm, and snow farm. They're all in that one there, and then they go down that way. And our new one will just get slipped underneath here and then go with the rest of them. And then they go this way. Yep. And then from here, they go kind of towards the center of the island, but we're actually not using uh, the exit gate portal that is in the center of the island. So we're using our old one from 1.8. So it turns this way and it goes this direction. And then it goes past a bunch of other ones. We got some other ones coming from other directions. And we also pick up all the items from the obsidian platform. Everything goes this way. And then from here, we have an item elevator, which will put all the items upwards. And then they go all the way up and go up there and check it out. So way up here, we have our old exit end portal. And yeah, we're just having the items be pushed into here. And then when they fall through there, they're gonna end up at world spawn point. So if we hop through here, so yeah, right here is the world spawn point of our spawn. That's our spawn area. So items will mm -hmm. try to be placed at the highest block that they can here. So they ignore the leaves, they ignore the carpets, they just keep going downwards. And then underneath here we have, so underneath this platform, all the items will oh, end up right there. Hmm. They end up on top of the packed ice over there. We have a switch so we can switch it. If we remove that, then the items will go through the leaves and then they'll find a block which is down there. That's what we use uh, for the shulker shell shulker. So with that switch flicked, we should have all the items go across this ice path and then go through the sorter. The sorter's uh, actually not being used, but yeah, all the items will end up over here. And you can see the shulker box is full of ender pearls that we're getting from the ender pearl farm as well. He's got a bunch of snow in here too. And a bunch of concrete from the other uh, farms. Oh. Wanna check that out, Shadow? Oh, so yeah, so cool. if, if we set up everything properly, uh, when we AFK fish, all our fish should be sorted by the proper items. So the one shulker box would be filled with only one type item and they should all end yep. up here. So that's what we should probably test. We should probably see if they actually make it to here. Okay, cool. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna drop a yeah. shulker box full of some glass through here and um, just observe if it makes it through the portal, but don't uh, pick it up. And then right. we'll- Don't interact with it. Yeah, we'll head back to spawn and we'll see if it actually makes it there. So let's go ahead and throw it in there. And I'm ready. it is going, it's going down there. Yep. There it is right there. Okay, it's gonna come through pretty soon. Okay, yeah, it went through. Okay, we'll head to spawn and see if we find it. One thing we have to do is also set up trunk loaders, but we, I mean, technically we don't actually have to set up trunk loaders. So the trunk loaders, what they would do is uh, they would kind of load the chunks while no players are here. Yeah. But in theory, um, when the players do come through the portal, they'll load it. So it's not like it's going to despawn or anything. Um, mm. If it's unloaded, then it's just going to sit there and wait. And then when someone loads it again, then it's going to move some more and eventually will make it to spawn. And just by having chunk loaders, it'll just do that without players being here. But uh, since the main island is very popular, people have to use it to get to the portals, the exit portals. It should, in theory, automatically uh, make its way to spawn without being chunk loaded. Oh, there it is. Black stained glass. Oh, that's awesome, man. It made it. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. amazing. High five. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Come on. <laughs> you don't want me to high five with this sword. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have food, by the way? I lost my food. Uh, I, I got excited and I dropped it all. All right, man. I think we are. So we are almost done, right? I think we are so, done, other than so, what you want to do. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm gonna take care of that over some of the some some of the streams, maybe after my trip. So I'm not gonna be here for th like three weeks. 
unfortunately, because cool. I was very excited to participate in the service since I'm, I'm so new here, but I'm going on vacations. Very good timing. <laughs> Nice. But anyways, when I come back, uh, I will be working on my base as well as the beautification of the AFK fish farm. Also, I want to maybe we'll have some conversations about the flower farms that we want to uh, oh, yeah. also work on. That's that's a fun project. Yeah, yeah that's going to be fun. All right. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head out now. So thanks, everybody, for watching, for being here. This is RaceWorks. I'm in the Protect server. You can check out my... YouTube channel where you can find my tutorials, Minecraft, and also a single player let's play. It's a lot of fun to do a collab with Shadow Sea, and he does stream as well as does YouTube. I'll put both of those links down in the description. So be sure to go ahead and subscribe to him on YouTube as well as follow him on Twitch. Maybe in the future we'll be doing some more collabs with him. It's really cool to go ahead and finish the mass AFK fishery. So people can start AFKing in the end dimension instead of in the overworld. It will be exciting to see what Shadow Sea does to make it a little bit more beautiful. Now one of the few downsides to having the AFK fish set up over in the end dimension is that it doesn't rain there. So therefore you won't get that extra boost which you would normally get during the overworld when AFK fishing during a rainstorm. But we gain so much more by having the farm in the end dimension so we don't have to worry about it affecting RNG farms as well as other things going on in the overworld. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me as I have fun in survival. Bye bye.